If you have multiple tracks, then what you may want to do is decrease up the volume of one track and increase up the volume of another, especially when you have a background music, you want the background music volume to be lower compared to your voice. So in order to see an example, I'm going to go around and then uh, bring in an audio file. I'm going to go to file, I'm going to go to import, and then I'm going to select audio right here. So I'm going to select 8 year anniversary right here and open it out. And if I were to play this, this is how it sounds like. So this has a certain level of volume. And if you want to decrease out the volume so that you can speak on top of this, then you can go around over here on the top and then decrease out the gain. So I'm just going to go all the way up to minus 18 dB right here. And let's hear out the sound now, the sound volume. So it's much more uh, softer as you can hear. So now what I'm going to do is record uh, my voice on top of this. So I'm going to record my voice in another uh, track. So to do that, I'm going to go around over here on to, let's say for example, edit on to preferences, and I'm going to make sure record on a new track is checked on right here so that I don't have to press shift or anything. And it just starts recording out in the new track right away. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around over here onto the record button and then click here and start recording uh, my audio. Hello there and welcome to my podcast. So today we're going to uh, learn about new things that is there out in the technological uh, area. So now I recorded my audio right here. And now what happens is that this you can see is much more uh, lower uh, in volume right here. So you can increase out the volume for this one by using the same DV settings and then to hear out how they sound. Hello there and welcome to my podcast. So today we're going to uh, learn about new things and that is how it actually sounds. So you hear out the background audio and then you hear out what I'm speaking over here and then you can go around and then work around with this as you can see. So over here, another thing is that right now this just says audio track right here. So you can actually rename this out as well. So to better manage it, you can click on the audio track, name it, and I'm going to name it as voice over so that it is easier to know what this is all about. And here you can see that now it says voice over and on the top, instead of eight year anniversary, I'm going to rename this and I'm going to rename this as background music right here. And now what happens is that the name has been changed out, as you can see. So just like this, I can rename out the audio tracks according to what I like, and then I can work around with the volume as well. And that is how you can um, change, change the volume of tracks and rename out tracks inside of Audacity. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.